What's going on, my friends? It is the Beard here, but today we are back once again in Fishing Barrett Sea. So you've just picked this game up and you're not exactly sure which way to go. Beard, how do we make money? Well, I'm here to tell you, my friends. Today we will cover the basics to longlining. Okay, so you got this fancy dancy little boat that is in dire need of a new paint job. And where do we go from here? Well, first thing you got to do, my friends, is go to the fish market. Once you're in the fish market, you will see all of your prices are displayed here. Very important for reference. We'll come back to that later. Then you need to make sure you go and buy one of these lines. Now, this boat can only hold four lines at best. So choose wisely, young pet ones. Okay, so... Now, we've gone ahead, we bought our lines. Now we're gonna have to bait the lines. This is where this chart comes in. Knowing what you're gonna fish and what is good for that fish is very important. I'll show you a little trick here. Go to your map, click on your species. Now, if you do all species, you are gonna get a little design like this and you'll be able to see what's what, where they're at and so on and so forth. But you can go a little bit more specific than that. You can look and see at cod, you can look and see pollock and haddock and redfish. Look at all the haddock right here. Now, if you want to say fish for that haddock, you're going to go from this menu back out of here, go back into your fish market and take a look. So here's your haddock. Remember the look of that fish. Okay, now go to your buy baits. Go ahead and look at your line. Now you're going to want to line these up. If you just mouse over this little eye, you can see by that little pie chart right there and the pictures corresponding to it, which is which. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Now, really, it's your mackerel is the best for the haddock. So we're going to go ahead and set that up. Okay, so here we are now. You can see on the map, we've just come out to the harbor. We're on this great big school of fish telling by the thermal heat signature. And what you're going to have to do is deploy your line. Now, you don't want to do this at full speed. You will damage your lines. So just make sure you're moving a little bit. Generally around four or five knots works. Go ahead and hit your set gear on this menu down in the bottom left. Once you hit this, your line starts. Now, you need to chug a lug all the way and our oh we are locked at full speed that can't be good and it's pulled us down oh it's it seems to be doing that automatically now it's been an update since last time i was in this boat okay and there we go the line is out and it is set now these lines showing up on the map you can see it says there it's been in the water for five minutes now you need to leave it for at least a four hour soak before you can pick it up however i recommend leaving it for 20 hours okay so we went into town we fast forwarded the time and as you can see now we're 21 hours on the soak i set it so we'd be at 20 with the hour travel to get here and we need to go and pick this line up now okay so we'll get nice and close and we will pick it up as soon as it goes green. There it is. So we'll go ahead and haul this in. Now, we're going to get a little graphic here. It's important to try and get it as close to the middle as you can. And by doing so, you increase your catch size. There we go. So we're getting plus 6% on that fish. If you mess up and don't get as good of a score as I did there, it's going to be a whole lot worse. Okay, so I've gone ahead and pulled it all in. You can see we get a summary of how much fish we've caught. Now, I've reached my redfish quota for the year, so those seven just aren't going to do a thing for me. Now, we're going to go ahead and gut the fish. Now, my friends, um, these are magnets, okay? The magnets will pull you towards them. The idea is you get from one side to the other without messing up your fish too much. Now, this has come a long way since it was first started. Uh, I like to turn the DPI up on my mouse. I find it a whole lot easier. But remember, you've turned it up. Ah, sometimes I still mess up. <laughs> and there we go. So that was bad. You want this to be at least two stars or more. Otherwise, you're almost better not even gutting the fish. So practice at it. Get good at it. Don't get bad at it like the beard. And have fun with it. It's a cool little mechanic. And you could do this later on uh, on the Beat Catherine but you know your guys can do it too now simply head back into shore you're all done you are a successful long line fisherman 
It's that simple, that quick and easy, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this. Just a quick, quick little video as I do have some members in our community uh, that this is mostly aimed at just starting out and wanted a bit of a heads up. If you have any questions or would like to see anything else on this game, please do me a favor and leave it in the comment section below. And until then, we'll see you guys in the next one or in our Fishy Barrett Sea live streams. Don't forget to hit that Discord link, the subscribe, and the like button on your way out. To win with two ads if you gotta. <laughs> Thanks for coming.